My name's Guy Kesterman. I've been a professional bike tester for over 22 years. So today, I'm taking, making use of the fact that that is the women's Tour de Yorkshire stage one, which means the whole of the finishing circuit for the UCI Road World Championships is fully closed to traffic and fully open for riders for the only time this year, apart from when the World Champs are here in September, which is when I'll also be heading up Cycle Expo Yorkshire, the official expo of the uh, UCI Road World Championships. Go! So, as the helicopter goes overhead, get yourself a cup of Yorkshire tea and watch me take you on a guided tour of the finishing circuit so you can see exactly the route that the pros will be taking come September. It's going to be a belter. And normally, this is a one-way street in the other direction. So this is why I'm out today, when I'm not heading into traffic. Although if you do look on YouTube, we did do one in the middle of the night back in 2014 when the Tour de France was in town. There's the coaching horses. They actually renamed that the Cavendish horses for the Tour de France. So rolling out now onto the more relaxed part of the course. Up West Park in Harrogate. They're putting in a bridge over this bit here. The Yorkshire Cycle Expo, which I'm head of bike for. Two day show on the opening weekend. A ton of good stuff going on there. That's over behind us. Down at the Yorkshire Event Centre. This will be the fan park. Where you're going to have your live screens, other activities. All along here in the feed zone. So riders are going to be picking up their bags of food, fresh bottles. Because they've still got a long way to go. Even on the first circuit of this Harrogate Loop. Oh, it's a while to go. A couple of hours racing probably before the men's elite finish. And now a long steady pull up to Beckwith Shore. I'm still getting waved on by the juniors and the police haven't called me out yet. So I'm going to crack on as far as I can. Let's hope the women are just taking it as a steady recce lap. I like go balls out to try and stay, well not balls out, but I'm working on to try and stay ahead of them. And again, arrogant mobilising to wave people on. Bit of a mental regroup here. Plenty of space. People need to change positions in the pack. The World Champions always throw us a bit more into the mix. Because you're not racing with your normal teams national teams so it's a fresh set of riders fresh set of instructions all right Danica <laughs> up past the so bar very popular riders stopping off after a ride coming in from Pennypot and Norad Edgeway and a gradually steepening ramp it's no Richmond certainly not in Innsbruck in terms of the brutality of gradient but it's very little flat. If you relax, you're going to lose a lot of time very quickly. You're going to need to keep pressing on to keep position. As a rise up here, uh, I'll do some credits. Thanks for Descent 133 for the gloves. Go off the bike wear. Spats, local company, keeping my feet dry. There's Mavic shoes underneath them. Uh, Giant Defy, lent to me by SRAM, fully SRAM Axis equipped, SRAM ETAP Red Axis, latest 12 speed wireless system, absolutely beautiful setup, and running on Zip NSW wheels, 32mm WCVs. More riders coming through, I'm time going a bit quiet here. Coming up to the top of Arlo now. Don't get. One last dig over the top. Topping out is just a lot of these false summits that if you're on the back of the bunch, they're gonna fry you. <laughs> and again, if you walk over to the right there through uh, Nursery Lane, the Harrogate Council Plant Nurseries there. 
that takes you back to the course at the top of uh, Valley Gardens. So another easy point you can bridge across. And I'll be doing a separate video covering all those options on foot. Our kind of locals guide to all the shortcuts to see the races in as many places as you can. Over the top now. And across Harlow Hill. Highest point of the course. Leveling out now. I'll need to watch for that island once to check it out. <laughs> hey, the whole town is totally getting behind this event. It really is fantastic to see. And Yorkshire water over there, Pine Woods over there. You walk through from the centre of town down to Betty's. I'm not going to try and be any sort of race pundit on this lap. I'll leave that to the professionals, that kind of thing, but hopefully providing a bit of interesting local insight as well as some insider knowledge on the roads and riding around here. Old Harrogate businesses in there as well as the police station, so a lot going on through there. Just check behind. Road's still here, so I'm cracking on. Now dropping down. Getting back into that. Not even that big ring. <laughs> It'll do for me today. And again, tuck away. It's only a short bit of respite. Dropping down here. Past Betty's, police station. Royal Horticultural Society Gardens there. Superb area. Any time of the year, but when you've got the world's best riders in every discipline hurtling past you, why would you not want to be here in September? It's all over there. Got really nice riding between here and Leeds. Round Arnscliffe Crag, Rigton, Oakley Otley. Really strong cycling areas. And then dead ahead, you climb out past uh, Norwood and Stainburn. It's a really good little, little mountain bike park up there. Spend a lot of time up there doing testing, doing videos. If you look on my channel, Guy Kes TV, see a whole ton of footage from up there. And you know, it's good gravel biking out that way as well. Horty cap there. The uh, superb little garden centre and horticultural area my wife goes there for a lot of her plants always good to support a local charity and then we're out into the countryside and once you're out that way you're into the Washburn Valley you're over to Blubber Houses Moor all the way over to Skipton so again it's a fantastic place to base yourself for riding and now we're coming into Beckwithshaw which is where the races are coming in from today. The last bit of relaxation I get. Last bit of wide open road. Ah, oh, I can bring it up a gear without having to think about a sudden corner, a sudden descent, or a sudden climb. Before things start getting interesting, we start getting into the twisty, descendy, climby section, which on freshly laid tarmac, as you can see, I spruced it all up beautifully, but I've made sure I've dropped my tyre pressures, put some flat rubber on for today. All about maximum grip and staying upright. But you're steadying your nerves, ready for things to go like a cat four crit when everybody's just got off Zwift in February through these corners. I mean, obviously, the skill levels are considerably higher, but the emotion levels are going to be absolutely through the roof. But these aren't forgiving roads. It can be thinking you're getting all uh, Mark Marquez Moto GP one minute, and then you're sliding off down the road, ruining the bib shorts the next, or having a big enough moment that you ruin your bib shorts in other ways. <laughs> so see what happens with uh, let me on course when I get to here. But it's been awesome so far. Certainly enjoyed it. This is where things start to get interesting on the course. I mean, I was lucky enough to be on the uh, UCI 
trip round and uh, up to this point people have been kind of chatting on about the course and the arrangements and then suddenly we got into this section and uh, people started looking out the windows thinking oh well, this is interesting so crest over the top here you know and in the past I've certainly had some uh, exciting moments on tri bikes or you know which aren't always the sweetest handling things or bikes with the brakes reversed and it looks relatively benign to start with coming in you know nice wide road this top part already getting some bounce from braking bumps as you're coming in I mean I guess the good news in September is they've freshly resurfaced it so this bit's a lot smoother but the bad news from uh, my point of view is fresh tarmac isn't always that grippy if there's oil spilling out of it so I'm going to take it proper gingerly now as you can see so get it tipped in still not closed nice you know come Tour de France start, come world champs time they're going to have a load of catch netting all sorts of protection on this and they're going to need it because people are going to be pinning on through here and then driving out up the climb and that's definitely the first technical challenge of the route brilliant roads for uh, bike testing on but I mean I use this circuit a lot just back up between roundabout to roundabout amazing what you can find out about tyres and handling just in that short section of road also a brilliant test of riders even the best riders in the world are going to need to be on form to have a good day here handling skills fitness determination that attacking spirit whoever becomes world champion in Harrogate is going to be a proper world champion that's for sure and the Yorkshire champion which is you know arguably even more important as you can see it doesn't take long to get out of Harrogate onto some really beautiful roads Dales over that way these traditional dry stone walls and if you look over there through Bike Birch Crag you you're fit enough you could scarper all the way through there technical cornering section Ah, it's great to see such a good turnout even on a wet day for women's race all right lads Yorkshire really has embraced cycling I mean Arrogate's always been a popular area for cyclists cyclist touring club actually set up in Arrogate 1878 proper institution of English riding they are looking after a lot of Advocacy, technical, you know, rights away, access, fights for cyclists. Doing a lot of great work, mate, for the cycling community. Like, 140 years now. And this started off with 80 members at a meeting in Aragas. And then you've got the glory days of Ron Kitchens, everything cycling, and Beryl Burton. One of the most successful cyclists Britain's ever seen. She was a Harrogate lass. It's now rising up. Pennypot Lane. Roundabout here. Another popular route out of Harrogate. Very long, dead straight. Mirrors the old Roman road all the way over to Skipton. I'm going to take it the legal way around today. So obviously it's still open, so there's Pennypot. And over there to the north, you've got Ripham, Massam, Middleham, Pateley Bridge, Greenow, all made famous by the Tour de Yorkshire, Tour de France, and superb areas of cycling, hundreds of miles of riding up there, and all of it beautiful. And now, heading back into Harrogate, back towards Duchy, drop down into the next interesting section. And again, it's another of these uh, deceptive descents. Starts off what well, seems relatively benign, quite a shallow gradient, a bit of road furniture here as well, and then just as it starts to tip in, it starts getting twistier. So, 
I mean, obviously disc brakes are fairly new to the Peloton, but I think a lot of people are going to be going with discs like I am today on these SRAM Red Axis setup that I've been lucky enough to test for the past month. So you're coming in now, a nice bit of shell grip on this uh, on this corner at least, so grip should be reasonably good. I'm not going to cut the corner, I don't know if it's actually... Uh, closed road yet, but yeah. Dropping in here, that's the golf course. It just comes into this hump here and actually rises up. There's not much camber on this section of the road, so Again, they're going to take it. Want to take it really slowly. A lot of people who know what they're doing, waiting here for some excitement. I'm going to have to wait for the green light today. <laughs> Cheers. And again, powering out of this corner. Take it wide to keep the speed on. I'm speaking to Andy, the big chief behind the Yorkshire 2019 event organisation. They don't mind about the ladies coming around here because they know they can be the women's races are pretty sensible. They won't take too many risks, they always like to stay upright, but he said they are, are really concerned about what the junior men are gonna do on the more technical parts of this course. And again, just a punchy climb up here. There's no massive climbs up here. In terms of gradient, it's certainly not an Innsbruck. But if you consider they've already done 200 k and then there are a lot of these little rise and fall sections as they punch in to and forth, round and round. All right, Ian! And then levels out here as they come back into Dutchie. And now the sun's coming out. And the kids are coming out as well to wave people through. Smile for Harrogate YouTube! And all the kids from Brackenfields are cool there. And uh, you know, the response they get from everyone here local for all right listen everyone here you know this is just Tour de Yorkshire it's not a massive race in the grand scheme of things but the support they get locally it's fantastic people treat it as a real carnival atmosphere so you've had your legs beaten up in that short rise and then, long steady pull up to the top part of the course again now. Up. Top of Dutchy, the, top of Dutchy there. Most exclusive area of Harrogate. A lot of million pound mansions down there. It's not the million pound ones, are probably the small ones. Pine woods. Takes you over to Harlow Car. All right, Ellie. Ellie Hair sign there, top triathlete. And all coming out. Harrogate Water. You'll have seen that all over the world now. Just caught the contract for BA. So you'll be seeing it in even more places. Even more playing seats. You know, as well as Tour de Yorkshire, Tour de France. Harrogate really is becoming a proper brand name these days. You know, it's always had this really posh, aspirational reputation, which to be fair, richly deserves. It's a lovely place to live. Comes out top regularly on the quality of life surveys. And this is where a lot of it started. In here, we've got Harrogate, Europe's largest concentration of mineral springs in pine woods and around. So topping out here. Actually got motorbikes starting to come through now. The escort guys. Like I said, that's the back end of the nursery lane. So that's one place you can come in here. And then down Valley Gardens. So looks like I've got the whole road to play with. A long old descent, again, really nice 
makes it traditional and more recent housing. On the right there, and Valley Gardens, all the way down on the left, takes you from the centre of the town all the way over to uh, Betty's and Harlow Car there and the Horticultural Society Gardens. I'm not sure how close this is. I'm going to go risk going past the motorbike. Took him behind the event marshal for a bit of breakaway action. Cheers, mate! Nice playground, super playground with a paddling pole and ice creams. If you're bringing the family into Harrogate. Dropping down now, right back into the centre of town. And again, the temptation to absolutely belt it down here. Nice wide tree line boulevard. Pass Valley Gardens here. It's going to be a big old temptation. But coming up is probably one of the real stings in the tail for this Harrogate course. Steepest corner on the whole circuit, pretty much a full on hairpin. And if they've not done a recce at the Tour de Yorkshire, they're potentially going to uh, have a lot of trouble here as they come in, and the white lines aren't going to be a benefit for them either. So, taking it gingerly, get a little up, stepping out on the white lines already. Powering through. Yeah, getting some wheel spin there. So, punching out again. Ah, it's going to be some fun people going through there. Driving away back up Cornwall Road. Back up the other side of Valley Gardens. And again, there's a lot of places where this is going to sap your legs as you're coming around. Especially greasy conditions like today. You're going to have to take a bit of care. Clean all the way up now. Leveling out a bit. You still have the sting of the climb in your legs. And every race is going to do part of this circuit. Elite men are going to do a full seven laps after a not inconsiderable tour of the Dales. So they've got a real challenge on. But it should produce some fantastically exciting racing. And again, back into Dutchie here. As we're coming up, I don't know if you can see right up the road there. That's the section I went past near the school. Properly closed now. Nice to drop myself into the right window. Turning to Hereford Road. Chance to level out. Almost slight descent. Nothing too savage on the corner in front. Plenty of wide roads. And go the lead guys through again. My wife did a driving test around here. Said the three point turns couldn't have been easier. The roads are so wide, so again, make use of the road closures. Straight over the roundabout here. Pushing on through. Bit of a drop down. It really is. Beautiful place to live, folks. And a beautiful space to spend a week. Get here early. Make the most of the area. Right angle now. Coming in. I mean, these corners aren't so bad. Because they're wide open. Plenty of shoulder room. It's a relatively grippy surface. As you drop back down, there's your classic yellow painted Yorkshire to the Yorkshire Memorial bike. And they've been lurking around since Tour de France came through in 2014. Dutchy locals are out to see the race go past. Powering down Kent Road now. I mean, I've got a compact chainsaw on this, so I'm not touching anywhere like the speeds 
probably about half the speed the pros are doing. As we come into here, not really a rise. They're not even going to notice it. I'll lift out the saddle. There's the nursery out there saying hello. Hello! <laughs> I love the fact that everybody's out and smiling. They've come out on what was a fairly grim day to be fair. Bunting's out there. They've made the effort. It's come out now. Another school joining the... Uh, Waving crews here. Now oh, is this shut? Yeah, it's shut. So swinging out onto the course again. And if you watch the Tour de France in 2014, this is where Cancellara was going all out, trying to get a jump on the bunch. And today it's just me trying to get a jump on the uh, women's field. I've not checked me behind me yet. I'm presuming the police will have me by the scruff of my neck once they start getting in the way. But this is where it's on the Tour de France. They went straight in from here. Straight in, up Parliament Street. Kittle taking the win, Cavendish hitting the deck. Today, riders are coming in very tight. It will be at the race speeds they're doing. Onto the Swan Road circuit. Past the Swan Hotel, where I get this Christie hold up, where everyone thought she were dead. There's a bit of local trivia. And you'll see we're now crossing back in, past the pump rooms, the original place where people used to come from all over to sample the uh, iron and sulfur waters. Again, I don't want to deck it with everyone watching. It's only relatively ginger through here. But that's going to be a ferocious course finish. You've just got this little section of flat now before you start swinging in. And that's the uh, Harrogate Tourist Information Office there. Royal Bath, Royal Hall over there. There's going to be tons of stuff going on there. And then we're into the finishing sprint. But everybody's thinking about the rainbow jersey. Again, Winter Gardens there. Right into the heart of Harrogate now. I feel a bit of a fraud here, by no stretch. But I'm making use of the closed road. Starting to level out. Come on, rainbow stripes in your head. Past the famous Betty's. Superb. Tea room without compare. Open since 1919. They're still letting me carry on. Maybe Johnny's told them. A tourist board and oh struth this is starting to bed into my legs now but there's the wise there's the finish line ahead there's going to be so many emotions going through so many riders about now come the week in september when the world champs all gets decided on this section of arrogate road a lap done thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing, click on the notifications and I'll be doing a bunch of separate spectating and what's on guides coming up over the next few months and weeks just to keep you uh, up to date with what's happening. A load of content coming up on Guide Case TV around the world's coverage. Any information you want to know? Get busy asking questions in the comments below. Like I say, I'm local to here so I want everyone to have a great time at the World Champs and help in any way I can. And there's so much to learn about riding around here. It's such a good place to come and cycle or to visit. It really is going to be a fantastic cycling event is the UCI Road World Championships and the Cycle Expo Yorkshire that I'm part of. So, thanks for your time and see you here in September.